All right, this is Stephanie and Gabby again doing our second Let's Play. We wanted to choose something that's more recent, and we were really, really critical of what we picked. Mm -hmm. Just got the vote. Alan Wake. Yep. The votes are in, and we asked many people. And actually, Alan Wake, out of all like the guys that I asked about it, like Alan Wake was the one name almost everybody mentioned. What did you ask about it? All those guys on OK Cupid? <laughs> 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 but a lot of them also said Dead Rising, so I was like, uh, <laughs> Dead Rising is just kind of weird sometimes, but it's not scary. Oh, not Dead Rising. Uh, so Dead Space. Dead Space. Oh, yeah. screw Dead it. Space. Screw it. Yeah. yeah, I was like, I don't know if I believe any of your recommendations <laughs> now. So this is Alan Wake. Famous game. I feel like the second you're this big burly man in a military, you know, outfit with, like, advanced, co you know, training, and hand-to-hand -hand combat, and heavy artillery, like, it makes the game way less scary. Wasn't, I thought that he was, like, an engineer or something. Yeah, but you have all these guns, and you have this huge armor, yeah, and all this true. crap. Okay, so, Alan Wake, you hit someone. They are dead. They put me in jail, and I would never see Alice again. That's usually what happens when you run someone over. Yep. But then again, you're Alan Wake. Yep. Famous author. Alright, so, uh... We just drove someone over, that's cool. We can give you an alias. We have a silent watcher along with us today. Yeah. <laughs> So if you hear strange male sounds, it's not us. <laughs> wow. Did you like make that sound less sexual? <laughs> male sounds? Look at the light. No. Thanks. Let's just change our options right now. Alright, that's good. It's good. Oh, look, look. Oh, kind. It saved everything already. Yeah. Beautiful. What a considerate game. Because like with and all I remember how to sprint. Yeah, you got this. You got this tutorial. I got this. As with all of our I games, didn't get it the first time. No, we, we've already played this part. And then we realized we fucked up a little bit, so... Please. It's better than playing a whole game. We played like an hour before we checked it, and you were like, yeah, okay. You should never trust me to make an opinion about anything of the technicals <laughs> at all. I was all like, all right, we're going to put a shitty game out. I don't care. Oh, hey, it's a service. Thing. Cool. And uh, I've never, ever, ever seen the cone like that in real life. That's ridiculous. <laughs> this is definitely a dream. What? There you go. Over there. You get I tired. tired. <laughs> yeah, would be Alan Wake. Hey. Missing? Is that him? Yeah. Oh my god, he's dead. Also. It's the creepy dog life guy. Dog life. Dog life shadow. Oh, no, other way. <laughs> Did I just run you over? Oh! You think just make up stuff? No. Stay away from him! Go out of the way! You missed your demon! You're right! Yeah, it's my what's his name? Manager. It's my manager. Oops. Come on. Yeah. Oh, like a boss. Did you? Oops. Nope. Oops. Yeah, like a... I saw a guy. Woo! You're I gonna die! Suck at this. Good work. <laughs> you dodge some <laughs> hit with your stomach. <laughs> Walking to the lake. So 
This game uses a very obvious metaphor that light equals good and dark equals bad. Also Jesus. Did you use up all your stamina? Yeah, I got tired. <laughs> I'm a writer. I'm not like I got no special training. Hurry! Come in, Jimmy. Who is this guy? Then there's some random high schooler who's like, I'll save you. I'll I got you. Cover you. Clay Stewart! I will see what yeah, I wanna see what he has to say. So get the hell inside! That's what he says. Inside now! Inside. Clay Stewart, you know, we like were on the lacrosse team together, sophomore year high school. That kid does not look like a lacrosse player. No. <laughs> What's a lacrosse player look like? My dad? <laughs> he is in the world championship for old men. That's lacrosse. awesome. Yeah, and they won it, his team did. But he says he can't play anymore because he's going to be 60 this year. There's no way out. <laughs> Why can't he play anymore? You just said it's for the old men. He said that it's like bad for him to play when he's 60. What? I don't think my dad looks like a 60 year old. No, your dad looks great. Ooh. I like those candles. I'm a high. Right under the bed. Woo! Yeah, I have to get out. This way. Go out and wait. What's that say? Tom the poet. Tom the poet. Tom the poet. Ooh. Ooh. You're gonna. I'm dead. Go out and wait. And this is Jesus. He tells you stuff. You know what that voice kind of reminds me of? What? When you play Catherine, anytime you end up in a nightmare, oh, yeah. he's like, you are in the stage three of the nightmare. Go yeah. up the stairs. Yeah. Watch out for the spikes. It goes like this. For you did not know that beyond the lake called home. Wait, do you know where the plates are? That's not like really. <laughs> um, <laughs> you said something. <laughs> now the world will know who you are. <laughs> this is our plan all along. Don't bleep your name. <laughs> Can we give you a code name? Like Evil Lotus or something? What's the nerdiest, most obnoxious name you can think of? Where? No, like a screen name, username. Swordmaster69. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, see? Okay, listen to what Jesus is telling you now. Shine the light at them, to weaken them. Whoa, what even came from heaven? Thanks, Jesus. See, now he's burning from the light like a vampire. And then it'll be like <laughs> Now you can shoot him. You've I don't have it yet. Now the darkness no longer protects it, but it's still inside, controlling him. You can't be safe. He's still black, he is still your enemy. Okay. Here, take the gun. Take the floating gun. Headshot! Headshot give you any head. You've done well. Remember what I taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Jesus. The totally terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Oh, on Earth? Sense. Oh, that does make sense. With the, like, the light metaphor. It's like it's a house made of light. Kill him or did you just knock him? I don't know. I'm better this time. Yeah. No! Ooh. Safe. Ooh, what's that? What's that?
that? Flare gun. Oh. Well, that makes sense. That a flare gun would do like a lot of damage with its light. It seems nice and simple. Light equals good. <laughs> Just like. Well, if I'm dead, I can summon tornadoes. It's really not that bad of a big. story is he turns this all into a famous book, he gets his mojo back. Now you think it's going to be a happy ending? You're right. <laughs> I do have a wife. It's true. I bet you she dies. Wife's always Go, die. Jesus. She's nice. I like her. I hope she doesn't die. But like so much of the time like I feel like wives are just like a thing to like give the male character like death. Yeah. <laughs> he does stop. Right. More than I feel like I got a lot of this character already. He's a douchey author who's uh. Cheer up, handsome. What's it called? We're here. He's uh past his prime. Yep. If you're really that famous, like, couldn't you just live off your royalties like for the rest of your life? Who wants to challenge Gabby? Whatever. He's Alan Wake. <laughs> oh, you're right. You did get out of that car. Why did I keep thinking that we got out of the truck? I don't know. You know how much smarter we are the second time we play it? It's true. Just do it with every game. <laughs> <laughs> some people do. I would want to play like in some time in the future after we've forgotten all about Outlast and like one of us has like a good computer, I want to play that again. Oh yeah. It's gonna be hard though, especially the first few scares. 